right, it's February the 10th. And now, not only has my bank account been frozen, and it had been collecting interest like 40 or 50 cents a month over the past two to three months, as when Ken Paxton had it frozen. Now, the money is gone. Ken Paxton, yesterday, Hayden and I were coming back from San Antonio. We did a live, a, a video uh, live showing us, you know, Hayden's coming to live with me and his little brother Blaine. That same day, yesterday, I, get, I got online today and noticed, as of yesterday, the money's not only frozen, it is gone. We still don't have the paperwork back from the Attorney General's office from Judge Billingsley's ruling on July 21st of 2017. That was over six months ago. We can't even get the paperwork to the judge for her to sign her own orders because the office of the attorney general, the deadbeat Ken Paxton's office, will not give my attorney whatever that paperwork is. I'm ignorant. I don't know, even know what it is. I just know from what I've been told. If he doesn't have it, then we can't give it the papers to the judge for her to sign where she gave me primary custody of blame. Now I've got primary or not, I've got physical custody which was mutual of Hayden which was mutually agreed upon between the kids mother and me we agreed she decided that or they they're moving for whatever reason I don't even know why I didn't ask it's none of my business but she we mutually agreed that Hayden should come live with me and there was no fight there's no argument there and now Ken Paxton has stuck his nose into business he had no business sticking his nose into so now the money's gone. And I went up to my bank, Platinum Bank, and it's 1045 right now, Saturday morning. They aren't even open. They've always been open until about noon on Saturdays, at least the drive-thru. They weren't open at this time. So for those of you watching this on YouTube, I took a screenshot of my online banking where it shows I was collecting interest the last couple months. Like I said, it's not very much because there wasn't a lot of money. Relatively speaking, to me, throw 3700 bucks that's a lot of damn money. So I'd been collecting interest, so I took a screenshot, and as of yesterday, the money, it, show, it, it shows a zero balance. The months before, it showed 3700 or whatever dollars, plus the interest. And now it's all gone. So... I put Ken Paxton on blast and tagged him as I normally do and tagged him on Facebook I'm up here we're about to do some unloading into the storage so anyway please consider sharing this video and all the other content I've got out there about the deadbeat attorney general Ken Paxton with any and all voters that you know in Texas because if this can happen to me this can happen to anybody. Anybody. My child support was ordered lowered on July 21st, 2017 because I got blamed. It has been racking up ever since. I thought it was going to take, you know, a couple weeks, maybe a month, so I wasn't going to pay until it was, I didn't want to overpay. And now it, it, I'm like, a month goes by, another month, another month. I'm like, what the hell? Where's this paperwork? So it had been racking up at the old rate. And now Ken Paxton's trying to make me look like I'm a deadbeat dad and it's all over money. Well, he not only froze the account, but he didn't even give it to my kid's mom. So if it's all about money, Ken, that's why I'm calling you the deadbeat attorney general of Texas. Because you, sir, are unfit to be the attorney general of Texas. You have declared war on a little peasant in your state, me, the notorious dad. And you already know this, Ken, but I got that name in jail for being a good dad. I still don't have a criminal record. It was civil, uh, civil, uh, whatever you call it, civil. My mind just went blank. Contempt of civil court. And now Ken Paxton's running for re-election in 2018, this, this year, November. And Ken Paxton... You barely won anyway. And I've even got, I've got, a, it's a fact. Most of the people who follow me, 
disagree with my politics, and that's perfectly fine. But one thing we all agree upon, what you're doing to otherwise good parents in the state of Texas is dastardly. And you're not going to win re-election. I'm going to spend the rest of this year making sure every Texas voter in this state knows what a dirtbag you are. So, keep doubling down. Because I'll just keep doubling down too. Have a good day. Peace, love, and consider not hitting your kids. I love you all, except for Ken Paxton.